Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ekwereka. Today I'll be drafting an off shoulders blouse. This video is actually to answer some of the questions that I saw in the comment section. Please, if you're new to my channel, you're welcome to my channel. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Please don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. I folded this fabric with my biggest measurements. It's folded into two, which is my bust measurement. But because this blouse is up to my hip, if my bust me if my hip measurement is bigger than my bust measurement, I'll use my hip measurement. If my bust is bigger than my hip, I'll use my bust measurement. So, but my bust measurement and my hip measurement are the same. It's 46 inches. So, I folded this fabric with the biggest measurement, which is 46 inches. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half. What you will fold is quarter of your biggest measurement plus 3 to 4 inches seam allowance. 3 inches is okay. So, what I have here is a 15 and a half. 11 and a half is my bust measurement plus 4 inches seam allowance, 15 and a half. This fabric is on foot, but when you open it, it will be like 15 and a half times 2 is 31 inches. So I'll go through all these lines with you. This is my shoulder line. From my shoulder to this line is my chest line. My chest is um my round half of my round armhole. My round armhole is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. From my shoulder to this line is 9 inches. From my shoulder to this line is my bust point. My bust point is um, 10 inches plus half inch seam allowance is 10 and a half. From my shoulder to this line is 10 and a half. From my shoulder to this line is 14 and a half. My under bust measurement. My under bust measurement from my shoulder to my under bust measurement is 14 inches plus half inch seam allowance to sew it is 14 and a half. From my shoulder to this line is my waistline, 17 inches. From my shoulder to this line is my hip line, 24 inches. From my shoulder to this line is the full length of the blouse, 25 inches. And this is half inch seam allowance because I'm going to use less fabric. I'm not going to turn it on the lower part. I want the scallop to be on the lower part. But if you're using less fabric or any other fabric, African print, any other fabric, if you want to turn your lining on the lower part, you will use like one inch, one and a half or two inches, depending on how you sew your lining. So now I'm going to mark half of my bust palm measurement. My bust palm measurement is from one nipple to the other one. Mine is 9 inches, half of 9 inches because the fabric is on fold is a 4 and a half. So I'll mark 4 and a half from the edge here, 4 and a half, plus half inch seam allowance, 5 inches, 5 inches. Because we're making up shoulders, we don't really need the shoulder measurements. I just have it here for reference. So we'll have to minus some inches from the shoulder measurements. So I'm going to minus 5 inches. You can minus 4 inches, you can minus 5, you can minus 6. But I'm going to minus 5 inches. So from my shoulder to 5 inches. Why I added a half inch on the measurement, like my bust point is 10 inches, I added half inch seam allowance on the under bust also, is because when you sew it, so half inch on top here, it will go up. That's why I added half inch. If you add seam allowance to sew it on the upper part here, you don't need to add half inch, half inch on your measurement. I'm going to mark the line that. This line is um, half of my bust palm measurement, and this line is minus 5 inches from my shoulder measurement. So on this part side, I'll add, I'll mark 1 inch on both sides. One inch on both sides. On the under breast, I'll mark 1 inch on both sides. On the half length, I'll mark half inch, half inch. So 
So this is my hip line. This line is from my shoulder to this line is 22 inches. That's where the dart will stop or two inches above your hip line. So I'm going to connect it. One inch on both sides on the under bust. But if you like, you can use 0 0.75 on the under bust. So I've connected it from one inch on the under bust to half inch on the half length, then to the that end point. I did the same on this side. This is bust point. I want to connect it from bust point to the under bust. If you're using French curve. You don't have to come down by half inch, one inch, or quarter of an inch. Because you can see, if you curve it, it will stop somewhere here. It's not up to, it's not up to bust point. So, but if you're using like stretch ruler, you have to come down by half inch, one inch, at least half inch. So, now I'm going, I'm going to use stretch ruler because some of us don't have a French curve. This side is a stretch ruler. So I'm going to mark half inch, half inch. So I'm going to connect it to this point on the burst. So why I marked this so that the bust point will not be pointed. So you have to blend it so that the bust point will not be pointed. On the under bust, you can mark 0 0.75 on both sides or 1 inch on both sides. If you don't want your bust to be pronounced, to be very obvious. Or after making your blouse, you notice that maybe you use the 1.5 on both sides or 1.2 on both sides. And you notice that... The bust part is puffy, that is not really your size. So when you're making your blouse, use one inch or 0.75 is still okay. When you're making off shoulders blouse, you need your round shoulder measurements. So round shoulder measurements is where you want your blouse to be on your shoulder. So you measure it this way. You put tape on your shoulder this way to measure your round shoulder measurements. So, but if I measure my mine is a 46. I want to mark the neckline. You can minus one and a half inches or two inches from your shoulder measurement, half of your shoulder measurement because the fabric is on fold. Half of your shoulder measurement. Like mine, my half of my shoulder measurement is eight inches. So if I minus one and a half, I will have to have six and a half. So or you will measure. If you will measure from here to this side. If I measure mine, I have 17 inches. So I'll come in by 2 inches on this side and 2 inches on this side, which is 4 inches. 4 minus 17 is 13. So I'll use 13 inches for my neckline. So because the fabric is on fold, I will use 13 divided by 2 is 6 and half. So I'll mark 6 and half inches for my neckline. So neck with 6 and half plus 2 inches here because I'm going to cut this off. 1 inch, 1 inch, which is 2 inches. 6 and a half plus 2 inches is 8 and a half. Plus 1 inch seam allowance. 1 inch seam allowance because I need half inch on this side to join it. And half inch to join the sleeve. So 1 inch seam allowance, which is um, 9 and a half. So I'm going to take the measurements. My bust measurement is 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half plus 3 inches seam allowance 
and one inch that that I'll cut off is four inches. Four plus eleven and a half, fifteen and a half. I'll mark fifteen and a half. My waist measurement is 40. 40 divided by 4 is 10 inches. So 10 inches plus the dart that I'll cut off here. Here is 1 inch and this um, underboss is 2 inches. So I'll use the underboss one. So 10 plus um, 2 inches is um, 12 inches plus 3 inches seam allowance is 15 inches. My hip measurement is 46. 46 divided by 4 is um, 11 and a half plus 3 inches seam allowance is 14 and a half. If you like, if you're a beginner, you can use up to 4 inches seam allowance. But when you finish, you trim off the ones that you don't want. So I'll connect the line. I've connected it. I'm going to mark the armhole. So if I use minus 6, I will use 4 inches here. I'll mark 4 inches on this side because the remaining armhole will not be enough. So, but I used minus 5. I'm not going to mark, uh, mark anything here. So, I'll just use it the way it is. If I use minus 4, I'll use it the way it is. But I use if I use minus 6, the remaining one will not be enough. Look, at see minus 6. Okay. For instance, I use minus 6. The remaining armhole will be this. So it will not be enough. So that's why I use 4 inches. Because 4 inches is standard for armhole. And uh, for, like if you're making your own, if you're like large size, you will use 4 inches. It's standard. If you're like cup height, middle, if you're making for medium, you use 3.75. If you're using minus 6 inches, if you're make, using minus 6 inches and you're making for small size, you use 3.5 or 3.75, medium size 3.75 from this, um, if you're using minus 6 inches. If I'm using minus 6 inches, I will use 4 inches on this side. But today, I'm not going to use 4 inches. I will use it the way it is because I'm using minus 5. If I'm using minus 4, I will use it the way it is. I will not... Um, mark four inches on this side so i'm going to connect the armhole from the neckline to the chest line this is my neck width to my chest line so i'm going to cut it out so on this side, if you want, you can leave it straight like this, or you can make it um, sweetheart neck here, or V-neck, or round neck. So to make it sweetheart neck or round neck, I'll come down by one and a half or two inches. I'll use one and a half. You can use two inches, it's still okay. So if I'm making it as round neck, I'll use this and just curve it this way. If I'm making it as V-neck, I'll use the straight one. But if I'm making it as a sweet heart neck, I'll use this one this way. I'll put it like this and connect it. So I'm using sweet heart neck on this one. But if you want, you can leave it straight like this. It's still okay. So I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to cut it. After that, I'm going I will use it to make a um, blouse. 25 inches uh, length blouse. So the um on the lower part here, half inch seam allowance is okay for me because the half inch seam allowance that I will use to join it on the upper part here. That's half inch seam allowance that I have on the lower part here. So but if you're making your own if you want to turn your lining, because the one I'm making, the scallop will be on the lower part. I don't want to fold my line, turn it with lining on the lower part. So if you want to turn it with lining on the lower part, 
you will leave like one inch, one and a half or two inches on the lower part for your seam allowance here instead of half inch, depending on how you turn your lining. So now I'm going to cut it. This is what I have. I'll use it to cut out the lace fabric. After cutting the lace fabric, I'll mark one inch from the lower part, one inch. I'll cut off one inch. Then I'll use it to cut out my lining. Sorry, I forgot one thing. If you want to use this as peplum blouse or dress that will have half length, from your neckline, to half length waistline is what you need but you add seam allowance one inch seam allowance half inch to join it to the upper part and half inch to join it to the peplum or to join it to the lower part of the dress sorry i forgot to mention it before i cut it i want to cut the back one this is zip allowance one inch zip allowance from this line to this line is 10 inches is my chest line I came down by one inch my chest line is nine inches I came down by one inch which is 10 inches from my shoulder line to this line this line is my shoulder line to this line is a waist line half length to this from my shoulder line to this line is a hip line 24 inches and half length is 17 inches hip line 24 inches from my shoulder line to this line is 25 inches the length of the blouse and this half inch seam allowance, this half inch is seam allowance. So this line is five inches minus five inches from my shoulder line. Because it's off shoulders blouse. So on this side, I'll take my boss pan measurement. My bust palm measurement is 9 inches, so I'll mark half of my bust palm measurement, 4 and half. I'll mark 4 and half because I'm not going to cut out the dart. I don't need seam allowance, so I'll use 4 and half. 4 and half. So I'll connect the line. I'm going to mark the dart. Back that starts from 9 inches. Or your chest line will come down by 1 inch. So my chest line, I came down by 1 inch. This is 10 inches. So I'm going to mark the dart. Oh, this is waist line. On the waist line, I'll mark half inch on both sides. So on this side, I'll mark 22 inches from my shoulder line. Or my hip line, I'll come up by 2 inches. So, waistline, half inch on both sides. I'll connect the dart.
I'm going to take the measurement. This is my chest line, 9 inches from my shoulder, from my shoulder line, 9 inches. So I'll put my bust measurement here. My bust, and my measurement will start from this line. My bust is 46. 46 divided by 4 is um, 11 and half plus 2 inches seam allowance. 13 and half. My waist measurement is 40. 40 divided by 4 is 10 plus this 1 inch because I'm going to hold the that 1 inch for that is um, 11 inches plus 2 inches seam allowance, 13 inches. My hip is 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and half plus 2 inches seam allowance is 13 and half. I will connect the line. I'm, I've connected it. I'm going to mark the neck width. Front neck width and back neck width will be the same. I used 6 and half. So 6 and half plus half inch seam allowance to join it to sleeve is 7 inches. All my measurements starts from this line. I'm going to mark the armhole from my neck width to my chest line. I'm not going to mark 4 inches here. If I use minus 6 inches, I'll mark another cap height, 4 inches. I use 4 inches for large, large size, 3.75 for medium and 3.5 for small size. So I'll mark it here if I use uh, minus six but if I use minus four or minus five I will leave it the way it is so I'm going to leave it the way it is I'm not going to mark four inches on this side so now I'm going to cut it So on this back neck line, if you like, you can leave your straight like this. I'm going to use uh, leave mine straight, or you can come down by one or two inches. I mean, or one and a half, and connect it round neck. Connect it to six point five, not to your seam allowance. If you want to use round neck, you will connect it this way. If you want to use round neck, but I'm going to leave mine straight. So I'm going to cut it. thin on the waistline here you come in by half inch before I'll cut it you'll come in by half inch here on the half length here you'll come in by half inch the eliminate puff you'll connect it back So from this line, you create new uh, zip allowance, one inch from this line, from this half inch, one inch. Created another zip allowance from this half inch, I measured one inch, one inch. So I'm going to cut it off. So I'm going to cut it. So this is what I have. 
lining. So I'll measure one inch after cutting the lace fabric. I'll measure one inch up and cut it off. Then I'll use it to cut my lining and underlay my two lining because I'm using double lining. I'm going to cut the sleeve. I want to cut the sleeve. The measurement you use for the sleeve is your rand, your rand and hole measurement plus two or three inches seam allowance. My rand arm hole measurement is a 18. 18 plus two is 20. 18 plus three is 21. So what I have here is um is 21 inches, but I need 20 inches. It's on fold, 10 and a half inches on fold. So, what I'll mark here, I'm going to use my round shoulder measurement. My round shoulder is 46. So my neckline, I'll minus my neck, front neckline and back neckline. What I have left, then I will use it for my sleeve. So my front neckline is six and a half. My back neckline is six and a half on fold. Six and a half on fold is 13 inches when you open it. So 13 inches for the front and 13 inches for the back, which is 26 inches. So 26 minus my round shoulder, which is 46, is... um. 20 inches. So 20 inches because I'm cutting two sleeves, I'll divide it into two. 20 divided by two is 10 inches. But because this fabric is on fold, 10 divided by two is five inches. So I'll mark five inches on the upper part of my shoulder here. On the upper part of my sleeve, five inches plus half inch seam allowance to join it to the blouse is five and a half. Five and a half. Here I will come down by four inches, or I will use the front pattern. But my is four inches because nine inches minus five is four inches. So I will mark four inches here. So on this line, I will mark half of my round armhole, which is uh, nine inches, because my round armhole is eighteen. 18 divided by 2 is 9 because the fabric is on fold plus 1 inch seam allowance is 10 inches so on this side i'll mark my round sleeve my round sleeve is um let me use two 11 and a half but i will use 12 which is 6 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance 7 inches 7 inches so, if you're using less fabric, you don't need to add seam allowance here. The only seam allowance you'll add is like half inch to fold it on the upper part. Because you tidy up the upper part. you just add half inch to your length. But you will cut it this way. You're not going to fold it to cut it. But if you're using another fabric, you will fold in your seam allowance before you will cut it. So, you will add your seam allowance. So, like... What I have here is a 14 inches. Um, for instance, I'm using like um, 13 and a half for my sleeve and half inch for my seam allowance, which is 14 because I'm using less fabric. So, but if you're if you're using fabric that is not less, that doesn't have a scallop, you need to add like one or two inches seam allowance depending on how you hem your own. So. You add like two inches before you cut it. You fold in your seam allowance. You can fold it in this way before you cut it. So now I'm going to connect the line. Huh? On this side, I'll just trim half inch off here, but if you like, you can leave it straight, it's still okay. Just to trim it this way, but half inch. So, now I'm going to cut it. So, this is my sleeve. Watch part two.
Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.